Hi, I'm Marjorie Wildcraft again, and this time I'm in California with Farmer John of the Sustainable Seed Company. And one of the things I love about the Sustainable Seed Company is, is John has spent a lot of time with every variety of seed that he offers on his website. Go check his website out. There's an incredible amount of detail about every single plant that he offers, whether it's a good keeper or whether it's something you're going to want to eat fresh, what kind of environments it grows in well and where it doesn't, and um, general seed viability. But today we're going to talk to John a little bit about uh, three key things that you want to know when you're looking to buy seeds and uh, would you say the first thing is um, that you're going to want to get heirloom and open pollinated seeds, is that? Yeah, generally most people are looking to, uh, to save their seed. You want to be able to save your seed from year to year. In order to do that you have to have open pollinated seed um, or heirloom. Heirloom basically means the seeds over 50 years of age. Um, those terms get a little bit loose with different people, you know, whoever you talk to, but the, the idea is it's passed down from one generation to the next, and it's done that way because it was delicious. It was uh, a really, you know, tasted really good, or it stored really well. Uh, you could can it, and it still had its firmness. Um, but uh, open pollinated just simply means that uh, you can, um, you know, cross. It would naturally cross and you can save those seeds. And when you when you plant them again, the plant is gonna come true. It's gonna come true. Versus hybrid is uh, obviously takes two different parents. Sometimes there's four or six different parents, uh, but you can't necessarily save that seed and get what you planted originally. Uh, maybe one out of a hundred and nobody has that kind of time. So um, Now when you talked about seeds, you said 50 years, they're not gonna store those seeds for 50 years. Seed viability doesn't really last that long. You mean that they've been harvesting and collecting and, and growing. And But how long can we really expect if we buy some seeds from you or from anybody for any of our vegetable seeds, how long should we expect them to last if, if we buy, buy seeds? Um, seeds generally, uh, some seeds like onion seeds, parsnip, uh, that type of stuff will only last a year. Uh, and that's, that's assuming that someone keeps them in a nice uh, dry and cool condition. And when I mean cool, an ideal temperature would be 55 to 65 degrees. Uh, you can definitely, there have been cases where people have uh, left it in their basement uh, and 10, 15 years later been able to grow, you know, maybe 50% of that. But for the most part, uh, most seeds like corn, beans, um, beets, those last about five years. So the thing that you have to think about with seeds is they're a living organism. Um, it's not a widget. You just can't put it on the shelf, dust it off, and throw it in the ground and expect it to grow. Um, a lot of growers are uh, really bad about storing their extra seed in their greenhouse, you know, where it's easy to get a hold of, but your greenhouse temperatures get to be 80, 90 degrees. And that destroys the living embryo inside. So it, it, it's really important to regrow your seed if you have a seed bank uh, or buy more. So great. So the first thing is, is we're going to look for open pollinated or heirloom seeds so that way they'll come true year after year. The second thing is they're only really going to be viable for, on average for about five years. So you pretty much want to buy what you're going to be growing in the next year or two. And the third thing is when you store them, you definitely want them in a, in a cool, dry, dark place. Correct. Is that right? Correct. Yeah. Right. And, and people use different things to keep them dry. Uh, you can use uh, silica in them or some people just use... Uh, powdered milk even, um, but you want to kind of keep the moisture away from them. You don't want them too wet. Uh, that breaks them down as well. Good. But uh, And sunlight. Keep them out of the sunlight, obviously. They're going to try to grow. Well, thank you so much, John. And like I said, go to, go to the Sustainable Seed Company uh, website. They have some amazing descriptions, and that's one of the things I love about it. And Farmer John here is doing a tremendous amount with his company and ensuring that you good, get good quality, high purity seeds. And until we view the, uh, until we film the next segment, this is Marjorie Wildcraft and uh, you can grow your own groceries.